Please be advised that U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services in New York has reopened for in-person interviews with COVID safety precautions. For updated information, visit the USCIS website. Please also be advised that all immigration court hearings in New York City for immigrants who are not detained are canceled through at least October 16th, 2020. For updated information, visit the Justice Department website. This presentation is on T visas for immigrant survivors of human trafficking. The purpose of the training is to provide general information about T visas. It is not intended to provide legal advice or guidance on any particular case or matter. When in doubt, consult a lawyer. T visas, an overview. T non-immigrant status, known as the T visa, is a humanitarian immigration remedy created in 2000 as part of the Victims of Trafficking and Violence Protection Act. Immigrant victims of a severe form of trafficking in persons, the term used in the law, can receive four years of lawful immigration status. A T visa holder is also granted a four-year work permit and is eligible to receive public assistance, just like asylees and refugees. In addition, the T visa is a path to permanent residence. After the trafficking investigation is closed, or after a T visa holder has had the T visa for three years, they can apply for lawful permanent residency, also known as a green card. Congress's purpose in creating the T visa was to encourage immigrant victims to report trafficking to law enforcement. Finally, applications for T visas are supposed to be reviewed by officers who have received special training on trafficking and related crimes. T visa eligibility. So what do you have to show to get a T visa? A T visa applicant may be a victim of sex trafficking or label trafficking. They do not have to be trafficked. They do not have to have been trafficked across a border into the United States, but at the time they apply, they must be in the United States on account of trafficking. This can mean that they're in the U.S. cooperating with a law enforcement investigation into the trafficking, or it can mean that they're in the U.S. receiving medical care or social services to help them recover from the trafficking. A T visa applicant must report the trafficking to a law enforcement agency and cooperate with any investigation. There are exceptions to the cooperation requirement for children and for applicants who are too psychologically traumatized to cooperate. Finally, the applicant must show that they would suffer extreme hardship if they were removed to their home country. These are the federal legal definitions of sex trafficking and labor trafficking. So sex trafficking is the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, obtaining, patronizing, or soliciting of a person for the purposes of a commercial sex act in which the commercial sex act is induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which the person um, who is induced to perform the act is under the age of 18. Labor trafficking is the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for labor or services through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purposes of subjecting them to involuntary servitude, peonage, debt bondage, or slavery. So let's talk a little bit more about the individual requirements. Present on account of trafficking is a major one. And again, a trafficking victim doesn't have to be trafficked across a border into the U.S. to be eligible for a T visa, but they must show how their current presence in the United States is connected to their trafficking experience. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services is supposed to consider individual circumstances like trauma, injury, lack of resources, or the fact that travel documents may have been seized by traffickers. However, USCIS recently does seem to be interpreting this requirement more strictly than they used to, particularly for trafficking victims who escaped from their trafficking situation several years ago. So what is a reasonable request for assistance from law enforcement? Um, what counts as a law enforcement agency for starters? It can be a federal, state, or local prosecutor, a judge, a labor agency, a child welfare agency, or another governmental agency that has responsibility and authority for detecting, investigating, or prosecuting trafficking. So examples are the federal, the U.S. Department of Labor, the U.S. Department of State, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, or New York State Police, New York Department of Labor, New York State Division of Human Rights, 
State Office of Children and Family Services, ACS here in New York City, the NYPD, um, or district attorney's offices. Um, the reasonable request made by a law enforcement agency to a victim to assist in the investigation or prosecution, what's reasonable is supposed to be determined based on the totality of the circumstances. Um, and law enforcement cooperation isn't required for children who are under 18 um, and is also not required for survivors of trafficking who are simply too traumatized psychologically or phys physically to cooperate. Um, however, even a victim who is not required to cooperate still does have to make a report of the trafficking to law enforcement and a licensed attorney can do that for them. So, showing that the trafficking survivor would suffer extreme hardship if deported. The extreme hardship doesn't have to be related to the trafficking, but the more you can tie it to the trafficking, the better. Um, a person's age, their need for medical services, counseling, or other social services that they can only get in the U.S. can help show that they would suffer extreme hardship if deported. If the person would not be able to participate in a criminal or a civil case against their trafficker, that can also show extreme hardship. Um, it's helpful to highlight if the home country government has a bad track record in protecting trafficking victims, and it's also helpful to highlight um, if the trafficker would be able to retaliate against the client with against the trafficking victim with impunity in the home country. So when you're thinking about whether someone may have a may have been a victim of trafficking and may thus be eligible for a T visa. Um, it's helpful to think back to those federal definitions that we talked about and think about the following questions. What action did the trafficker take against the victim? How did the trafficker manage to get the person into the trafficking situation? Did they use violence? Did they use a fake ad in a community newspaper? Did they somehow blackmail um, the victim? And then what was the purpose of the trafficker's actions? How did they benefit from the commercial sex or from the labor or other services that the victim provided? So if you think about the trafficker's actions, their means, and their purpose, that helps you frame what happened um, within the law making the, that would make the person eligible for the T visa. Um, also, as you think about whether someone may have been a victim of trafficking, Keep in mind that just about any workplace can be a site of labor trafficking or sex trafficking, um, including clubs, bars, massage, massage parlors, um, or other sexually oriented businesses, but also hotels, motels, truck stops, homes, farms, ranches, construction sites, factories, restaurants, and many other public or private places. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. Um, if you have questions or need a consultation, please feel free to reach out to us on our website via our email or our intake line. Thank you.